Hello and all, this is Jasneet Singh aka Innovative Coder from Innovative Coder Workstation and today I want to talk about an issue which most of my Instagram followers approach to me which is a defined career path to become a software developer as an engineering student. So the main struggle which people have is they don't have their definite defined career path, right? So in this video, I'm going to break down semester wise, year wise, what should be a defined career path on a broad basis, not very discrete things I would be talking about, about. I would be talking about only like on a broad level, what you can do. And I think this is the most uh, safe career path, which you should follow. So this video is only for the people who want to prepare for a job. This is not a video for people who want to pursue MS, MTech or MBA. We'll be making another video for it. So starting off the day you step into your engineering college. So first one is the first year, the first semester, which is the most crucial part. I know people think it like you, are, you have just passed out your 12th class and now you are into your college and as you have seen in those movies that college is fun, college is chill out, just forget that. Because this is the real life. Now you have entered into professional world. So you need to act like a professional. So first semester is divided into two parts. Study plus data structures. Strong data structures. Okay. And why I mentioned study, you have stepped into engineering from your 12th class. In 12th class, you had different kind of study. And in your uh, engineering semesters, you have a different approach for studying. And in other various colleges uh, and different colleges, you have different kind of approaches. You have different uh, resources to study. Okay, so go to some seniors who are serious about their career, who are, uh, who are doing well in their studies. So go to them and... Uh, you know just you get to know about like how to how to study and how to score marks because in first semester what happens is you don't know how to study and then you end up getting backlogs so in like um, your complete engineering just try uh, to not get backlogs because there would be, be a liability on you so, and, uh, and the other thing which i talked about is data structures so master your data structures so learn either c plus plus python or java start with these languages because these are the basic ones choose any one master your data structures in these in the using these languages and uh, you are good to go second semester second semester is advanced data structures plus study so study i have mentioned for both first semester as well as second semesters in first semester you have st uh, data structures master that because this thing requires time right and then you have advanced data structures because see in first year you just be clear with like you know the first round of your uh, job interviews which is the technical round in which you are you are being asked these uh, technical questions related to data structures yeah, so you you are now ready for the first round of your placements which is the technical round which is the round where you are asked uh, about data structure concepts so now let's move on to the second year in second year choose one advanced field what do i mean by advanced fields advanced fields are web development Android development, blockchain, machine learning, uh, IoT, cybersecurity. Choose any one of them, and there are other as well. Fine. So choose any one of them, and and uh, these gonna change in like these uh, coming years. So this video I am making in 2019, so I'll be uh, saying the fields which are in uh, which are in limelight in 2019. So start with them, or there there is game development another option. So start, choose any one field. Uh, these are what known as uh, what I call them as advanced fields. So choose any one, master them. Start with a guided course. There is my video on uh, investment on yourselves. So please watch it if you are confused between a guided course and a free course. So I always recommend start with a guided course and then dive deep into that particular area by uh, doing projects. So do as many projects as you can, do some serious projects and some serious internships as well. So in complete third semester and fourth semester, choose one advanced field, right? So combine for the, both, then do projects and then do some serious internships, right? If you are, uh, uh, you know, ambiguous about two fields, like you are 
thinking that uh, I should either do web development or mach or uh, machine learning or web development or uh, Android development, then I would say choose one field, do it for 15 days, then choose another field, do it for 15 days. You'll get to know, uh, you know, where your interest is, where you can command the concepts, where you can uh, grasp the concepts, where you can, uh, you know, like uh, for for which field you have that kind of uh, feeling okay so this sums up your uh, second year so you are done with first year you are done with second year now it is the time for third year so third year we have fifth semester and sixth semester so in third year choose another advanced field and the same strategy do a guided course do um, these projects like some serious projects and uh, like tons of tons of projects post them on your github repository because github is known as future cv future resume so just post your projects on uh, github and then you can land up very good internships as well so in third year by the end of third year you will be able to land up uh, able to land in good companies you would be able to take uh, you know uh, nice projects third year now you're done with data structures uh, one advanced field another advanced field two advanced fields one data structures so now you are done with that in, in fourth year which is the seventh semester starting part of fourth year seventh seven, seven semester and eighth semester in seventh semester you need to find a job so in all the colleges you have this placement season going on right and uh, even if you are from tier three or tier two college then you have to apply off campus so do that find a job which resonates with the combination you have because uh, you have the combination of one advanced field and another advanced field right so always choose that job which resonates which goes in parallel with your uh, those field those two fields okay so till now you have made exceptional quality projects combining both of those fields and uh, you know in, even in uh, even individually you have you have a lot of projects you have done internships in both the fields and now you are going to find a job you land up in a very good do good job for a uh, job you need to build a resume as well so uh, build a resume build a very good decent resume which uh, highlights your qualities which highlights your projects which uh, tells uh, like all of the you know stuff about you so i'll be making another video on how to make a technical resume so you can watch that okay so that's all for this video guys i have made this video because i was getting a lot of questions on instagram regarding this particular uh, thing that we don't have a defined set career path so could you please guide me uh, so in this via this video i am uh, i think i have covered all of the things like what you need to do to get a job if you like the video then please hit the like button uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't already and uh, Comment down if you have any doubt or if you want to suggest anything or if you want to advise anything even related to uh, personally me or anything related to this topic. Uh, so do that and share this with your college friends. Thank you.